Hi, I'm Brad Palmer, and you're watching Local Edition. Thank you so much for joining us. We are joined by Max Adler. You know him from Glee. He plays Dave. He plays Dave Karofsky, the great bully character <laughs> on the show. Are Thank you a bully you. in real life, man? I am not. No, no. I was a uh, show choir guy in so high school. So you were in Glee? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did, I did student government, Glee club, the whole thing. But what's interesting is that so often uh, viewers will get confused, mm -hmm. and they will think that because you play a bully, you are a bully. Yeah, but listen, it, it just means hopefully that I'm doing my job somewhat well, so I'll take it as, a, as an honor and a, but, and a compliment. But, but wisely, you've decided to get involved in an organization mm -hmm. that is combating bullying. Yeah, it's a great organization. It's called uh, City Hearts, Kids Say Yes to the Arts. Mm -hmm. It was started uh, way back, but Sherry Jason and Bob Jason mm -hmm. were public defenders in the juvenile court system. Sure. And they realized that if kids weren't affected early on and there wasn't any preventative steps, it becomes sometimes too late. So they uh, implemented this amazing program that kind of hits kids early on and hits them with you know Shakespeare classes, dance classes, problem solving through playwriting, and it just makes kids aware of how special they can be, the talents that they have, and that it kind of breaks down barriers and that you don't see people by races or, or right. classes of money, but, but for but who Max, they are. It's one thing to be a spokesperson. Isn't that nice? You'll go to an event. You're going much farther than that. You are literally launching your own anti-bullying program. That yeah. says a lot. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's my own initiative. It's called Max's ABC Initiative, nice. which is anti-bullying through City Hearts. And that will start January 7th. We're going to kick that off. And basically, we're going to take all the great work City Hearts has already done in you know the, the 25 schools all sure. of Southern California, and we're going to implement little you know anti bullying curriculums here and there through the program so that's gonna make them you know work together and again it, it's it, we've had examples where kids have been bullied and and City Hearts gets warned like watch out for this kid but then they start doing the arts and they start writing and they learn Shakespeare monologues and they build a self-esteem and once they feel better about themselves and that they know that they have something to offer and people appreciate who they are the bullying stops and then they take everyone else under their wing and they set examples but and it's just amazing domino what, effect. What about the bully him or herself? I mean so often it, it's about power and it's about their low self-esteem. Exactly. It stems from a very, very uh, deep place of insecurity and not feeling comfortable who you are so you kind of tend to reach out and knock people down a peg to feel better about you. Whereas the arts, you know, it brings people together. There's, you know, like I said, there's people from all over, you know, any kind of race, uh, you know, gender, sexual orientation. It's but when you're putting on a play, that all goes away right. and, and you work together. It's funny you mention that because in Glee, mm -hmm. uh, your, your character is bullying a right. young gay student. And we know, I mean, recently right here in Southern California, there was a student that was murdered in a bullying incident because he was perceived to be gay. He was gay. I mean, it, the consequences can be quite dramatic. Well, what's extremely depressing is, I mean, beyond murder is, is the suicides. When right. kids feel like they're, they're, there's no hope and there's no answer and they take their own life, which is just, you know, incredibly heartbreaking and sad. And that's why if you tell them now, you know, when they're five and six and seven and eight, that there's nothing wrong with who they are or the choices that they make or how they were born. And, you know, once you learn that you are who you are and be proud of that, you hopefully, you know, can bounce back all the words from any any bully. And then with City Hearts, kids say yes to the arts. We're just hoping just to end the bullying itself and then make them realize that they have something so special within them. I got to ask you about Glee. Hit show, third season. I mean, a monster hit. <laughs> Did you have any idea when you came from Scottsdale that you would <laughs> land and wind up playing a, a key character in a hit series on no. Fox? I mean, listen, it's such an honor. My, my dream when I came here was just to meet Ryan Murphy. Because I, I was such <laughs> a fan. Knew? I know. Nip Talk? Uh, Nip Talk. I was right. like, I had Nip Tuck parties at my home. I was such a big fan of, of him and his shows. So now, yeah, to be on that show and to to speak his, you know, genius right. words right, that are right. written, I mean, it really just, it's, it's been a dream come true. And then, you know, to use that platform right. and do things like like City Hearts and try to pass it forward and, you know, help other kids reach their You're dreams. You're a good man. Thank you. Glee on Fox, 8 p.m. Tuesdays. I'm Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN. Hello. I'm Max Adler from Glee. Whether you're into singing and dancing, or football, or any kind of activity that demands physical strength, having healthy muscles is really important. That's why I'm proud to make a muscle and make a difference for MDA, Muscular Dystrophy Association. MDA helps families fighting muscular dystrophy through research, clinics, and summer camp for kids. You can learn more at MDA.org. Be the next to flex for MDA.